Countdown to Halloween, featuring Gregory Miller's Dark Nights in Candlelight, 31 Tiny October Tales. Every night at exactly midnight, a new story will appear on StoryLink Radio's YouTube channel. You'll have 24 hours to listen, then it will disappear, and the next one will appear. Plan to catch these each day, or you'll miss one. Each story will be 2 to 13 minutes long. If you haven't already, be sure to listen to the introduction to the book right here on this channel. And now, tonight's story from Dark Nights and Candlelight, 31 Tiny October Tales. October 15th, The Joke. I laugh at death. That's what Halloween's all about, you know. Laughing at death. Making it into something you can wrap your mind around, and then having done so, you laugh at it, say to it, you can stop me cold in my tracks, but the hell with it, I won't waste it more than a moment's worth of fear on you. The man with the black hat looked at the roomy-eyed nonagenarian in his sterile white bed and nodded. I don't mind being laughed at. When it comes right down to it, I'm a trickster, a joker. He leaned forward in the visitor's chair beside the bed. You know what? I like that some people, however few, realize it. Hmm, the old man grunted. You've taken a fair bit from me over the course of my life. That's the price one pays, avoiding you when others around you don't. You took my grandparents, my parents, my great uncles and aunts, my regular uncles and aunts, <laughs> most of my cousins, all of my brothers and sisters, all of my childhood friends, my wife, even one of my children. Do you hold it against me? The man with the black hat took the old man's cool, dry hand in his own surprisingly warm one. Well, we all have a job to do. The old man blinked. Is it Halloween yet? Officially? I've been counting down the hours. It is. Outside, all around town, children are celebrating darkness and in darkness. And that's dandy. Whatever allows them to face me better is a blessing in disguise. It all helps, even if they don't know it. Every ghost and skeleton costume is a lesson. Every jack-o'-lantern ever lit is a marker on the path. What path? The path to me, said Death. Now the big question. Are you ready? The old man smiled. Ready when you are. Then stand up and come with me. The old man who hadn't stood in eighteen months, threw back the crisp, starched sheet, flung his legs over the side of the bed, felt the cool floor beneath his feet, and stood. So, how should we celebrate Halloween? he asked. That's entirely up to you, said Death, removing his black hat and tipping it at the old man. Which do you want? A trick or a treat? Eh, the way I see it, one's the same as the other. Then let's go get them both. Dark neighborhoods await. The holiday has just begun. Lead the way? After you. The old man led the way. Halfway down the hospital stairs, he started snorting. Then failing to hold it in, he let loose the full, deep belly laughter that had been aching to come out. <laughs> So funny, Death asked. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yes, and thanks for finding me. You've just heard tonight's story from Dark Nights and Candlelight, 31 Tiny October Tales from author Gregory Miller. You can get this book right now on Amazon at the on screen link. And Kindle Unlimited users can borrow a copy of the book for free. You can learn more about Gregory Miller and his many amazing books and projects at his website on screen. If you have not already, be sure to listen to our event video here and visit our event website to learn all about our upcoming events. Remember to come back after midnight for our next tale. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for. Story Link Radio.